Okay, so welcome to a PS2 segment. And um, this Mushroom Lad, I think is their name, sent me a pack of weird PS2 games. I have heard of some of these, but not all of them. And uh, I know which one I'm go going to have to start with, because how could you not start with it? But yeah, um, here we go. Let's just take care of that memory card situation real quick. Now, nah, chat, you've seen Rumble Roses, and you saw the one with the big um, kaiju lady, booba lady. So, I mean, we're, I don't think we're doing that. But we're going to have to find out. However, what I have for you instead is Star Wars Super Bombad Racing. 2001? So I guess they said, hey, wait, episode one is universally loved. Let's keep making this game. Because Jar Jar is a funnier character than we've ever had. This is not complete penis music. It's like cantina penis music. Cantina's music. Boss Nass, Sc Bub Scabulba, Darth Maul, um, Padawan Anakin, Crust Yoda. Anakin in an Abu Starfighter? Huh. Only one pod racer. You you would think Anakin would be in a pod race. Oh wait, is that is that supposed to be Obi-Wan? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Obi-Wan Rizoni. Is this related to Star Wars Detours? This was the um, first Star Wars Detour that took a detour. Hey, uh, one thing I don't miss from the PS2 era, or CDs in general, is the loading. It's a lot of loading. But don't worry, it's almost like Avatar 4 graphics, which James Cameron just started filming Avatar 4. Good thing Avatar 2 and 3 were so good. So, I guess... Oh my god. So this exists. I wonder if they got Ahmed Best to do the voice of Jar Jar, like, all this time later. This is a very crusty video game. I like how all the things that you shoot are just, like, force powers. Or, I guess, shields. Is that the... Wait, wait, I think that's the Naboo ball that they throw at people. I don't have any more boosts. I can beep. For some reason, Yoda's chair from the Senate has a beep. Or, wait, no, this isn't Yoda's chair from the Senate. This is Yoda's, um... Jedi Chamber. Excellent. Who said excellent? Which Star Wars character said that? My favorite Star Wars character that goes, excellent! That Yoder looks more like Mel Brooks than Yoda. question is, why are Yoda, Darth Maul, Obi-Wan, and Co. racing? Okay. This took place midway. Of course, Darth Maul wins. This took place midway through the movie, just before they go back to Nabusa. And they decided, before we do very much of anything, why don't we... I don't know, why, why don't we have a race? Maybe we can... I don't want to do the same level. Fuck. I was worried about that. Maybe... Maybe... 
<laughs> Maybe if we have a race, we could settle our differences. We could resolve the trade dispute. By the way, the taxation of the, the trade federation and the demarcation line, as you know, uh, the, the Magna Carta of Naboo happened sometime... So it's anyway, they decided that they would try to have a race first. That's my lore. So the gameplay is pretty bad. Um, I, it's not the worst I've played in a car racer. That goes to Eminem's car racing. At least it's functional. But it's definitely. It's no Mario Kart. It's no CTR. It's no Sonic. It's just kind of. bland. Basic racing. I think I'm missing something on how these powers work, because my boosts are gone. Thank you for that noise, Jar Jar. That's very kind of you. Oh my god. Why is it happening? Stop that. Is there drifting in this? There's a brake. There's a horn. There's a... I thought that was a spider web. I think that's a force triangle. Don't worry, they had those in Star Wars Rebels. It's fine. I, I don't think I'm catching up to whoever's first place. No. Not a, not a chance. Wait, so if you race, like Mario Kart lets you continue. Mario Kart lets you continue if you get second, third, or fourth. Kind of. I guess I can't do circuit two. So we're not going to be able to see Coruscant, Power Station, Droid Control Ship, Pod Race, Oto Gunga, or Mos Espa. I'm sorry. I'll show you... I'll show you the three maps I do have. They're called Gungas. We're loading. We're loading. It's a lot of desert that needs to load. Did that Jawa say Ariba? God. In the Star Wars universe, that design, the design of the Jawas, are, um, they sell them like Funk Funko Pops. S small Yoda? Oh my god. Oh my god, do you hear the music? <laughs> it's... It's the episode 4 Empire theme, before they did the Imperial March. But they penisified it. I mean, this is worth it for the music almost alone. Well, Yoda's face and the music. Stop, stop that. Please stop. Chad, I'm trying to figure out how to drift. I don't think Yoda can drift. Okay, it just brought up Steam. My controller just pressed and, and Steam just showed up. Uh, I really need to disable that, don't I? Vinny, I'm starting to think this might not be a good game. Wait, do you not hear the music, though? What is this? 
Oh, that's Obi Wan's voice, the California dude. This level is extremely boring. It is very far from Bombad. Kinda. Wow, we're really just playing random notes, aren't we? Right, who looked at episode one and said, hey, we need a kart racer? The pod racing game was good, it just had really bad frame rates. Vinny, this is sex music. It's not... It's nowhere near as good as Seabat, but it'll do. Well, even the powers are, like, very anti-momentum. Yes. My favorite part of episode one was when Darth Maul went, YES! The main menu press L1, R1, L2, R2 in order, not all together. What trash can was this found in? This was the Skywalker Ranch. Yeah, I went over there and I found it. What if this was your only exposure to Star Wars? Poof, everybody is a kadu. The game froze. Oh, no, it's loading them, it's fine, it's fine. The fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Who is that? Why is there a floating baby on a, on a spaceship? Is that him? Is that Glup Shido? Did we find Glup? <laughs> the music really just spices it up, doesn't it? Wait, 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 wait. I'm- I'm some kind of chicken. Space chicken on a treadmill. I think this is supposed to be like the Mario Kart battle mode. I don't understand. This is not super bomb bad. The run, yeah, the run animation of the chicken is so incredibly janky. Star Wars super bad racing. I just push the cock into the Sorry Chad, that's that is the sensitivity of the um L2 button, which is the button that you press to look behind you. Since it's like analog, it just it's clicking in 0.1% just from like cosmic rays. Need a dead zone. Yeah, we need a little, little dead zone. There. Um. I. Right, let's see. Wait a minute. 
So, someone told me to unlock these characters. And now, I don't have any characters. These are my characters now. I'm pressing other buttons to, to enter cheat codes and I got nothing. I don't care anymore. I just want to see a little bit of Theed City. It's fine. The battle droid graphics are really intense, though. No joke, Lego battle droids look better than that. And they're farting. Okay, so there's two small holes that you have to go into. <laughs> and they have the tanks too, wow. There they are. You know what? Fuck the race. I, I just want to see the battle droids up close. Yeah, they're like dangle weeds. Like, they don't actually pose a threat to anyone. now. I'm trying to actually be good. I want game to... I want to get the most bang for my buck. Like, I'm trying to picture myself in 2001 being a big Star Wars fan. Oh, wait. That, I was. But even I didn't buy Super Bombad Racing, or rent it, or acknowledge its existence. At least that was kind of cool for a second there. How is it that that Battle for Naboo game on the N64 looks better than this? This is still lap one. They couldn't like shorten it up like Mario Kart so that you could just do two laps? That would be good. Is this what they do for fun? Instead of cockfighting, they do cock racing. Do you think they do cock push-ups too? It was a low-hanging fruit, much like a... Okay, next is... Oh man, what should we play next? I don't know any of these games. Uh, I've heard of one other game. Finny the Fish and the Seven Waters. Oh my god. Wait, shouldn't... Shouldn't this have restarted? I like how the race is still happening. Oh, you're not even watching. It's fine. You, you missed nothing, chat. Don't worry. Okay, hang on. That's what you missed. Natsume. Serious fun. Didn't Natsume make Harvest Moon? Well, they also made Finny. Finny Fish. 
They published it. Okay, well, keep in mind, my name is not Finny. Finny the Fish and the Seven Waters. I don't remember when it happened. It feels like countless tides ago, but it seems as if it were yesterday. There wasn't a warning. Well, remember, chat, the name of this. The danger rippled beyond all. The name of the segment is Weird PS2 Mark. Games, not necessarily bad. The bottom shook. Thunder rumbled in the sky, and a dark shadow stained our water. I'm still terrified thinking about it. Then there was this fish. Pre-rendered cutscenes exactly in PS2 graphics. Mind you. He was quite a... Well, I'll tell you about him now. An underwater adventure? I feel like Echo the Dolphin would body this fish. I haven't even met the fish yet. Suddenly, this is the most dramatic thing I've seen. It's just underwater destruction. Oh my goodness. Wait. Is it a Kappa? It's Yoda! What? What is it? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> wow! Wow, some good animations you got there. Yeah, still no idea what's happening. What's happening? Uh, yeah, in my exact thoughts. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Holy fuck! It's a good thing we had that cutscene to get us to the cutscene. Metal Gear Solid 2 levels of cutscenery. Well then, I called you because I sense that something is wrong. I feel something bad is happening in our waters. This place has I think Finny the Fish is actually a streamer. Crises Hangs out in streams. Now, we need your help, Finny. I, are you talking what? to me? You don't want Kappa? help? Well, you will. When the waters are in danger, retrieve the master statue. Suddenly reverb? You've heard this before. You'll serve me and our waters. I this fish is like I'm literally a fish. Just find the master. It's stray, but fish underwater game. It's simple. Oh, well, you'll be fine. Now, let me see your skills before you go. It is time That's to show me your karate. Easy. Can you show me how you swim? Where are the bird noises I'm coming from? Making fun of you. I know. Holy shit, where are swim. they coming from? Just press the X button. 
so I can see you swim forward. Press it repeatedly to swim faster, you know. Come the forever now, tutorial. Baby. Let me see your swimming skills. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Everything starts from swimming. <laughs> yeah. Why don't we go yeah. over there next? Can you jump over the fence? Push down on the left hand of the stem. I'm underwater, you motherfucker! Press the X button. But don't forget to aim where you're trying to go. I'll go first, Vinny, so you can follow me. Good cycle, citizen. Clearly, I needed that tutorial. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cuphead moment. It's so difficult. Oh, I did it. Oh, you did better than I thought. Really? Not that at all. See? Now, in order for you to survive, you need to eat something. This is pretty obvious, but it's not easy. I mean, your prey wants to live just as much as Chad, you. I'm gonna free ball it. It's it's fine. I mean, how complicated could this game be? You you beat the shit out of fish. You can lock on. Good job, Finny. Thank you. Your tummy expands as you eat, but don't worry. Remember, this is survival of the fittest. God damn it, chat. Your health begins to decline as you grow hungry. Stopping to rest can replenish some of your health quickly. Pay special attention to your... Okay. Glad we saw that cool scene. Controls are, are pretty bad. Like, they're so touchy. Like, you, you lock on to your opponent, and you want to, you know, lock on and get over there. But you can swim away so quickly. Good. You did it, Vinny. Like, it's a, a hair trigger. No, that wasn't easy. Finny is so smug about this. Oh, I got caught by a fisherman. Probably should have read the tutorial for this one, right? Can I move the camera? I want to move the camera, maybe. Why is the base so good, though? <laughs> Ch 
chat, I'm stuck. I am stuck on the screen. I just thought, how hard could this fish game be? I'm mashing buttons. I'm mashing them. Maybe they can have the button on the screen for dumbasses like me that skipped the tutorial. I'm now pressing combinations of buttons. This is my life now. Never quite free, but never quite caught. Fail on purpose? There's no fail condition either. I've never seen a soft like uh, soft lock like this before in my years of streaming. A tutorial soft lock that you can't even press start and exit out of. And like the first five minutes of the game too. Move towards the screen. Okay. Well, it's a soft lock for me. Okay, that's not the well. I should really think before I say things, huh? Um, I'm stuck in a unique way. It's a skill lock. Information lock. Vinny, keep it red. I feel like, okay, so some areas have, the colors change in some areas. So I think it's just like, keep it red as long as you can. But then it stops. Keep it red and waggle. I I did. <gasps> well, you did it, Vinny. Oh my God! You are the chosen one. I knew it. When I knew you it. you succeed to break a line, you'll earn a lure. Those lures will be all yours. Oh no! More of this? Didn't I prove I'm the chosen one? <gasps> oh, that's right. I almost forgot. If you unhook from a lure, you... Whatever. Boy, we've come a long way with tutorials in video games. We, we've made them a lot more organic. Told you, streamer. Fish is a streamer. Hmm. Well done. More tutorials. But yeah, you can't really change the camera, and the controls are very... either too touchy or unresponsive. So, that's not great for a game with this much movement, uh, with this much range of motion. 
tap a ring. Oh, thank you, Finny. I won't tell you where I usually put that ring. And I'm stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, you have to admit, this is really compelling gameplay. Trying to figure out the tutorial without the information. best part of the game. See? Tutorial is over, chat. All right, next game. I'm not done teaching you things, Finny. Oh, they ran out of voice acting. Wow. He literally has more things to tell me. And if... And if your interest is still retained, now you can be a fish. And really feel what it's like to be a fish at that. Top mouth gudgeon. That's a crab. I know I know a crab when I see one. I don't know what's happening. I didn't know there was a first person mode. Oof. Oh, shit. Stop! Well, that was Finny the fish. He lived a short life. But he learned many things by a kappa. Poiny's poin? Po poin? 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 Point? Poinies? Poinies poin. I don't know. You read it, chat. You tell me how you think it's pronounced. Was that Mr. Potato Smeg? Huh? Colors can give your eyes visual diabetes, so just be careful. I think a pointy just got murdered. Hot point? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Is 
Did I hear poison kids in one of the lyrics? Oh, poison kiss. Is this like a, a, a Katamari slash Pokemon kind of thing? Hell Nyao? Those little things look like Wigglers from Mario Brothers, at least. This game does not exist and was generated by an AI. That's the only thing I'm looking forward to. In the future. I mean, if this is what it ends up looking like, then maybe, maybe I'm not looking forward to- What the fuck, dude? Yeah, point! This music almost sounds like... torture music. Yeah, this is just an episode of Black Mirror, isn't it? Chat, I'm trying to move the thing left and right, and look what's happening. It's going diagonal. Uh, I was gonna call him Poinstar, but Poins is fine. No, this is fine, chat. Don't worry. Spare no expense for the English translation. Wow, his name is Bon Jovi. His name is fucking Bon Jovi. What do you mean, Bon Jovi? You can't touch this. Okay. Well, now I can't touch anything because the controls no longer work. Chat. What happened? Oh. 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 Hmm. 
Vinny press circle. Yep, I'm pressing it. I'm pressing every button. I've pressed every button. I've held every button. Controller is most certainly plugged in. Oh God, please, no. Is there a fast forward with PCS uh, X2? PCS X2, yeah, that, that's it. Oh no, no, no. Chat, I'm pressing buttons, none of the buttons work. What what happened here? Why, why is my controller stop working? It's detecting that the, this is controller slot two now. Okay. Great, I love controller problems while I'm trying to play my Sunday stream stuff. Oh, uh, motherfucker. Oh, no. I tried to go into the controller settings to, to see if I could change the, the gamepad. I pressed nothing. For the record, I pressed nothing. Um, I just wanted to make the, the D-stick... <laughs> the D-stick. The thumbstick... Uh, work. Hey, you, you think Lolo's cool? Have you seen this message? Ah, oh, man. Um, All right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to reset the controller back to slot one. I had to close point. Uh, I'll, I'll try a couple more things. I don't know why it thinks it's the fucking 8 bit though controller as much as i love this controller from like a tactile standpoint it just feels good to to use i've had to, eh, i've had so many problems with this controller the vibrations never end the um it sometimes switches to controller slot 2 and doesn't work which is exactly what's happening right now okay Let's try going back into point. Oh, we got controls. Yes. The analog is just fucked in this game. This better be worth it. This game better be fucking worth it. This game is a point in my ass. You can't Yippee -yo! You can't touch this! This is the most progress we've made ever. Welcome to Jellytown! This is a half 
happening happy non-stop party on dude kind of town dude what really i'm so happy to be here then jelly town is so big how big is it you ask well it's big okay want to know more well okay then Put those double ears up and listen. Best voice acting. We are downtown in the center of Jelly Town. And up to the north, you've got your Snowland, right? And down south, you've got your Panorama Garden. To the west is John's Lake. It looks prettier, but it is thick. To the east is a deep forest called... <laughs> How do I set a dead zone on my fucking analog? Oh my god. Chat. <laughs> How do I set a dead zone? My granddad has been living here since the town was built. My granddaddy said I should rip he said the skin. Boys have been here all along. Oh my god. I'm not even pressing the analog triggers at all, chat. I have to go back into gamepad settings and try to find out how to stop this. Um, dead zone. I think... I think I got dead zone. Yep, we got dead zone. Oh man, I, I just want a point in peace. Rumor has it there's a scary creature named Barbary living in the. Someone said, I completely understand what my parents felt like watching me play games as a kid. Okay. This game is pointful. But yet he looks so happy. Anywho, what do you say I help you find your way home? You mean it? Yippee! For sure. But I gotta ask you a little favor. Flick, uh, anywho, Jelly Town is in trouble right now. The people have gone bonkers. But you can help. I'll bet you can use the points. I want you to fix the people who've turned into wacko loons. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling chat members wacko loons. An ass gun? Yikes. What is this? Yeah. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, is that a duck? Moving right along. This is a living point, and it's very special. Would you be so kind as to teach this kid how to use points for me? <laughs> the things I do for you, babe. But then again, a babe in need is a babe indeed. What the fuck is this game? Why did that duck just say that? But I ain't playing witness to some weird ass second second. <gasps> what am I playing? What am I playing? Behind this toxic tongue is a heart of, well, anywho, bear with him, okay? Come on, living babe. <laughs> Why does it sound like Cartman? <laughs> Stop calling me babe, Roundy. Sorry about that, honey. You listen 
aren't here pointing for brains. You will help this little boy for me. This is a fever dream. And since he's lost, you're gonna find his way home. How is this real? Take a pulling pill, girl. Besides, I know the drill. Was this a, like a kid's game? Okay, Pony. Do you want to learn how to use points? PS2 had variety. So much variety, they had a game for every occasion. Thousands of trash games. Well... Just like the Wii. You okay. could find bizarre Here's fucking Wii games buried deep within that library. Points can only be used by the pure and, uh, stupid at heart. Airheads like yourself. But that's not nice. Anywho, Why is everyone mean? Serious things. <laughs> Airhead. Yippee-yo! Airhead! Alright, now they're right. But they possess a great secret. This round ball is a point. There are red, blue, yellow points. Try wrapping your hands around it. That a boy. Push again and try throwing it. That a boy. Next, try bumping the points together. Note, chat, do not try this at home. No, chat, do not bump so uglies sure with points. That may be a little difficult for Brainiac. <laughs> hey, Green, get the point out, will ya? Green, I'm talking to you. Yes, you, Green. Green? An inexperienced brat with point for brain. Got it? Here we go. A wet ass suckling, Yippee some would say. You can't touch this. Wow, my oh, <laughs> the main oh, character is so dumb. Here is nasty sewerage. Okay. Oh, let me jump in there. Let's just end this this farce. Is that a Mario pipe? That's just like a legit Mario pipe down here. I see. Okay, so those are... Okay, okay, got it. You got poison ones and non-poison ones. Poin poisons. Eat eggclair hey, creature. Bet you didn't know you could ride these things. It's a lot like that. Timing is everything, and we're jumping. You can fly like jump around a big old trampoline. This is the best companion in a video game since Midna from Twilight Princess. Yeah, the cat. You know that when you mix two points, it turns into the remaining colors of the three, the one you didn't mix. Point will disappear if you mix the same color. I, I, hey, Green. Bet you didn't know you can mix points with hidden things. The person's feelings change when you mix with a point. Try it out on that little witch card. It just makes them sneeze? And then sad? Okay. I 
I mean, this isn't helping me get through here, but we'll, we'll keep trying. The camera is truly wretched. Okay. No, stop. No. No, no, no. Stop. Hey, Green. Bet you didn't know the point speedings worked themselves out. When you want to cure a feeling fast, mix in the same color point to erase the point inside. <laughs> I mean, I see what they're going for with this. Like, it's Boys supposed to be kind of irreverent and, like, like colorful and cute and... Blue is sad, yellow is happy. Yellow is happy! To understand the feeling, a lot can happen. Try different combo. Sometimes the people turn into airheads like you agree. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, then you have this concept. I thought points were gonna be like Pikmin or something. And it turns out they're just balls that you throw at enemies to make them happy or sad. While Duck Cartman makes fun of you and calls you a wet-ass suckling. Duck? Chat, what is this? Why is there a duck barrel? It's just a sad duck? Is there liquid duck in there? Do they put blended ducks in the water supply? Oh no. Where's the duck sauce? You donkey! What are you? An idiot sham with sh <laughs> I'm sorry, come again. Can't even pronounce the word sandwich! God! You are a sandwich! You know that? You're a witch and you're a sham! You're a fake! Get out of here! Yes, chef. Look at, look at the minions. <laughs> oh, I think Twitch is gonna ban them. Oh, you can't do that on Twitch. We had a goblin emote removed because of a pelvic thrusting motion, chat. <clears throat> so, I mean, I, this is no, this is no joke. So hang on. <clears throat> we, I actually, we did get a, an emote removed because of um, thrusting goblin pelvis. So here, let's, yeah, let's just make sure we, we get this Twitch safe. Okay, now we're good. Ah, oh, shit. We don't want to see them thrust. Enjoying my homemade are we? And weirdly enough, now Lemmy's face makes perfect sense for the dialogue. It looks like he's just reading the dialogue. And how's flavor of my oh shit. Only this one seems to be thrusting. Cuckoo? <laughs> This might be one of the most annoying games I've ever witnessed. You want me to stretch Lemmy's face out? Alright. Okay, here we go. Oh my god!
Someone said, can you just cover the whole screen with Limmy? Sure, why not? Okay, n now the game is much more tolerable. So yeah, you just kind of have to get lucky with the camera. You gotta hope that the camera faces the way you want it to face. Also, you gotta hope that you don't accidentally touch your point to another point. And it doesn't... Oh, there is, um... There is a quick switch button. Throw your point. Hope it hits before it hits another point. Can you believe what you're saying? Well, by now, it's just normal. I just don't know how this concept was sold to be, like, published and given budget to. It, it actually blows my mind that someone explained this in, like, a board meeting in Japan. And we're like, yeah, no, that's great, throw points. They dosed the water in the board meeting with PCP and they loved the game. You mean blended duck? That's a cool noise. That was a pointing close one. Yeah, that, that's a great noise. Thank you for that. I, is that my tinnitus or is that the game? Okay. Here is downtown. Okay, well, this game turned out to be a fever dream and a half. Um, I'm gonna Everyone stop now. Has gone bonkers from that girl, toxic. You are the only one who can cure them. I will save the game if I ever need the to torture myself. We'll help you, so you are not alone. Give it your best shot. Chat, I am not doing a full playthrough of this shit for you. You get me a gold play button on YouTube so I can melt into a dildo, I'll do a full playthrough of this. Make it so. Wait, no, I'm not going to melt into one. No, 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 no. I'm not going to melt into one. Fuck. Hey, Green, either pee or get off the pot. Amazing. Well, there you go. We've seen some poin, everybody. A couple weeks ago, we also saw some poin. But that's if you're an old fisherman. Somewhere out near Massachusetts. Been watching that poin. Watching them vine sauce commercial streams. And there was a bit of poin on there. It was a bit of a stretch, but... Nano Breaker? This sounds less egregious than Poin.
I remember that glitch from Skyrim. Ah. Uh. Ah. Oh, Konami. Konami. In the year 2001 AD, the United States oh. government constructed an experimental island in response to the National Nanotechnology Nanotechnology NNI. They named it Nanotechnology Island, and it was there that they assembled the finest American analytical minds from every field, business, government, and education to form a united research project committed to unlocking the untapped potential they trying to do the metal gear thing With like the real footage metal gear the thing world's most advanced scientific technology and a massive amount of government funds. this was made by Advances iga apparently igarashi occurred at a startling rate over a short span of time you know creator of symphony of the night concepts and machines that were considered fantasy in the 20th century were one by one becoming a reality these new technologies were made available to the general public, causing drastic improvements in lifestyle on a global scale. Hmm. Then, one day, the main computer regulating all the island's nanomachines suddenly went out of control. Every nanomachine on the island malfunctioned. From those <clears> oh, they turn into crabs. The ID nanos yeah, I, I knew something like that would happen eventually. For identification purposes. Thus occurred the tragic birth of the Orgamex, living mechanical organisms whose bodies are comprised entirely of microscopic machines from the molecular level on up. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this, but it's just like early PS2 graphics with the <laughs> severity of it. It was like tomato juice that just... Oh. Well, that is the fucking edgiest, edgy shit. Oh my god. Oh, this is... This is absolutely insane! Oh my god! The bullets don't work. They kind of look like something else, and I can't... There's that stock blood explosion sound effect. Over here. You're safe now. I can't picture what game it is that it's reminding me of, but it's reminding me of something. Prototype, uh, Resident Evil, House of the Dead 2. My God. Just a number of things. Someone explain it to me, now! The island's main computer went berserk, sir. As a result, the nanomachines and Is this Silicon Valley or Uncanny Valley? Which one? Function. You mean a bunch of microscopic machines caused this? It is highly probable that the nanomachine's self-replicating ability is to blame. Self-replicating ability? Yes, well, you see, they have the ability to duplicate themselves using the iron particles found in human blood. This keeps a fixed volume of nanomachines inside a given body. So, what? They'll just keep replicating indefinitely? Uh, correct, sir. Building new nanomachines from blood iron over and over again, until they can unite with one another to form Orgamex. Or so I assume. Like... Oh, God. It, this is I'll such a top-heavy exposition the dump. computer will halt all nanomachine activity. Michelle Baker, Nano machines. Is familiar with the workings of the main computer, has already been dispatched to the island. Why is that dude Baker. leaning in so close? You see that? From that Did angle, that was real weird. Escort. Sir, uh, she said that a convoy would only <laughs> increase the chance of casualties, and decided to go in alone. 
What? Just leaning on in there. The unit at the front line has nearly been wiped out. What about the cyborg military Southern. unit? Southern. Suddenly Southern. I've lost all communication with them as well. I can't find their signal. Are you telling me they might have been destroyed too? General Raymond, sir. If we don't stop them now, they'll breach the mainland. Yes, Jake. Get Jake here now. Jake? But, sir. Jake he was Slate. Executed. No. He's still alive. Prep a chopper on the double. Wow. He's the only one who can clean up this mess. So, how are you? How do you feel? I feel like Chuck Norris. What's wrong? Did you forget how to speak? I was in cold sleep for seven years. Of course he was. My body won't do what I want it to. <laughs> a cyborg militant like yourself has nothing to worry about. Give it a it, little It's time. just You'll so... I sure hope it's, so. It's so good. Even though it was Every war, cliche is here. Slaughtered tens of thousands, including civilians. It was all I could do to save you from execution. I had no choice. Yes. I owe you for that. But aren't you think... putting your career in jeopardy? If everyone thinks I'm dead and I make a surprise appearance on the battlefield? Don't oh. worry about that. If your talents can save our country... Sounds like Sephiroth. Threat, no one will say a word. General Raymond, sir. We'll be arriving at the front line shortly. We'll be landing in Midgar in just a moment. Here, use this. Is this? It's a new type of weapon we call a plasma blade. Using this, you'll be able to destroy anything down to the molecular level. Metal Gear Rising? Yep, it's Raiden. Yep, it's Metal Gear Rising. Sent a scientist to the island to disable the main computer. Your mission is to protect her at all costs and assist her in shutting it down. We've arrived, sir. Da, 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 da. This is close enough. Sounded like it was getting there. Yeah. Yeah, Raiden. Hmm. Still as crazy as ever. Jake, I'm counting on you. Well, it's a good thing we can hear him perfectly through the helicopter blades. Every single fucking cliche. Sephir Raiden. And whereas Metal Gear Rising, the gameplay delivers, will this? Eh, you know. It's no Bayonetta. Kind of boring. I mean, it feels almost like a prototype of Metal Gear Rising to me. I'm sure there's other controls that I'm unaware of, but I am pressing many buttons. You want music? All right. Johnny, does this get claimed? If you're watching, John. Useless minimap. I may as well put Limmy over it. Hang on. At least this minimap brings joy when you look at it. Yeah. 
there was a combo tab on the menu. Oh, that's cool. Well, I have to kill these ears real quick. Hang on. I don't know what the shift button is, but... Uh, more played... So, I, uh... There you go. Yeah, it, the, the combat's very slow feeling. Like, again, this sort of thing... Um... You, you gotta have it, like... It's a nice attempt. It's no Devil May Cry with, to compare it to a game that was out at this time. I mean, it's not bad, but when you play a game like Bayonetta, or Metal Gear Rising, or a DMC... Uh, this doesn't quite have the same oomph. It uses a modified version of the Castlevania Lament of Innocence engine. That makes a whole lot of sense. Oh yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. The sword even feels like a whip with how flowy it is. Flowy, please! I mean, the, the intro cutscene is batshit insane. Gameplay is kind of... not the most amazing thing ever, but it's not terrible. Worth it just to see the gallons of blood, and worth it to see the uh, cutscene. Yeah, even the dodge is like kind of slow. It takes a little time to charge up. Or to, to actually dodge. Oh, come on. You knew that I was going there? I have to kill at least the Venus flytrap thing. Combo chip. Uh, R1 plus square triangle to use weapon axe. I got it. No, I got it. Fine. Yeah, I mean, there's something to this, but if they were going for, like, DMC competition, Using the Lament of Innocence engine maybe wasn't the best idea. Maybe they needed something, like, custom for this. But it's it's okay. I, I don't dislike this. If I played this in 2001 or 2, whenever it came out, a 3, uh, I probably would have liked enjoying, uh, enjoying it. <laughs> it's a very lukewarm reception to the game, but... It's fine. It's fine-ish. And there's some exploration, and then you, you use, thank god for the minimap, actually. That minimap is not useless at all, because these camera angles want you to suffer. And then we have these lads.
They really are very spongy, like Gene Simmons' penis. All right, chat. <clears throat> I don't think I want to do this anymore. Um, yeah, I'm quitting. I'm quitting streaming. In order to get to everything I want to get to tonight, we're going to have to do a part two because I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with these. So I'll show you one more. Stretch Panic. I have also, for next time, I have Japanese PS2 games that were strictly um, released over there, from what I understand. So we can combine this with that. But for now, we'll do one more weird PS2 game. And I still have, like, another three or four after this. So, yeah, we're, go we're going to have to... Oh, Treasure! We're going to have to... Um, I'm not aware of Stretch Panic. But I don't like the Conspiracy Entertainment logo because that reminds me of all those terrible Wii games I played. Like, that was just shovelware showcase. Like, supreme. But, yeah, we'll definitely do more PS2 games next time I uh, get a chance. Uh, I'll do another collection. Okay. This is the story of a girl. The, um, the style is cool here. Stretch panic. I don't know why chat's freaking out. Everything here seems pretty normal. What in the hell is a TikTok anyway? I ain't never heard of no TikTok. Back in my day, TikTok was a unit of time measurement. Boy, I'll tell you what. Back in the army, I had me a compass, a watch. And that's all you needed. I'd this feels like a fever dream. But it's not a dog. I don't know what's happening, but that the <laughs> I I that's a that's an interesting forehead though. Someone's going to have to do an intro comparison so we can find out which game tonight had the longest intro. Whoa. Art. Whoa. Okay. 
Okay. Chad, I don't know what I'm doing. Try the right stick. Or you can control the thing. Uh, the controls feel pretty... Like, just moving around doesn't feel good. Well, that's cool, though. Button, camera control, okay. I mean, this looks amazing. It probably doesn't look so great over streaming, but... There are moments of this that look... Um... Chat, what is this? Uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Are those Bubalias? Why? Wait, am I giving a titty twister? Christ's name is this video game. Mind you, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Vinny, please don't leave this screen. I'm almost done. With your homework, right? I, I don't understand this. Not even just from a comedy perspective. I mean, like, what is the goal here? This isn't even the game. This is just the bestiary. Well, why is that happening? Oh, these are not good. No, 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 no. These are rock Britons. We don't want those. The breast, Jerry. Vinny, you can leave this area. I I can't, though, because that one chat member... No, I don't I don't believe this is this is real. I don't believe Treasure made this of all people. No, 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 no. What? Whoa! Were those helicoptering? I 
I, like, I want to see what's happening here, chat, but the gameplay is so fucking bad. What do I do? What do I have to do with them? I guess that. Chat, I swear on me, Jacobs. A, I hope we don't have any piglet pinchers in the audience tonight. Let's start with that. You can't grab onto the helicopter, Robertson. I mean, you could. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe this is real. The design is very human, I agree. Colonel, this is Solid Hog, reporting for the stream. Can I use that to launch myself over there? Again, controlling the main character is wretched. Yeah, you have to grab them by the hair. How have I gone all these years of my life not knowing about this game? I have been streaming for 12 years. You would think this would have been on the itinerary like immediately. Nope. I don't know how to launch over. Spin the analog stick when you grab. Okay. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. I mean, this had to have been made by a well-adjusted, functioning member of human society. Otherwise, how do you even come up with a concept like this and then execute it? Not only that, but then sell it to the publisher and say, hey, we need a certain amount of budget and resources and people to make this game. Wait, so you give them titty twisters and when they go off the level, they helicopter their titties back up onto the level? Yep. Well, you know what? As a fellow piglet pincher, that sounds absolutely wonderful. Jenkins, take as much money as you need. Okay. Someone said, I want to see the board meeting. 
It was just Nathan Fielder. It was just Nathan Fielder in like, you know, in his uh, youth. He was in there. So, do I have enough points to go into another room now? There's boss battles too. Select a real level now? Okay. Yeah, I know, they made the Wario World game treasure. They're an amazing developer. They make Gunstar fucking heroes. Mischief Maker, Sin and Punishment. Seriously, legendary developer. Is, but again, the controls are just like so. The concept is so utterly bizarre, but it's just so hard to control. And there's probably a button or two I'm missing, or not even like a, a function. I feel like I'm tossing around a fucking floppy Robertson, a Flopperton. Oh, I fought her in Elden Ring. This is Renala, right? Dare I say this game would be better with motion controls? Maybe one of the few times I would say something like that. Or any controls? Uh, yeah, it can get kind of rough. Ugh. Chad is surprised that she said damn it. Meanwhile, we were just titty twisting. I mean, it's, it's inventive, you can't deny that. It's definitely inventive, and it's interesting trying to figure out what is happening. It's, it's borderline experimental. No, it is experimental. She really is Renala. Vanity demons have possessed them. That's what the story is here. This is apparently Treasure's first 3D title. Yeah, it feels like it. Just check out this one last room real quick. I don't really need to play it very much beyond that. We, we've, um... We saw the helicopters. The Helicoptobertsons. I think that's probably as much as... as I'm gonna be able to handle tonight.
none of this is doing any damage that I can discern. Top right star is your damage to the boss. Oh, that's what's going on there. I can barely see what I'm doing. I would say 85% of the time, I don't know what I'm looking at and I'm not looking where I want to be. I think I, I have to hit her when, when the robot is doubled over, but again, like, you can't really... It's hard to accurately... You can, but it, it's difficult to accurately use your arm where you, where you need to have it. I'd like to kill this boss. That would be a great end to this segment. Use your... Special, there's a special button. That one. Well, that's a problem. Just about dead. Oh, there was like a dodge button. I mean, it, it got harder. Easy joke there for some people, but I'm not going to make the joke. Yeah, it just it just got more difficult. Um, so yeah, this has been a very fucking weird PS2 segment, and I hope you enjoyed it. Just for hogsterity's sake, we should check out that uh that gallery again. How do you get to that? Cubivore is a GameCube game, chat member. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Um, we're going to take a quick break. I'll be back with the Jumpstart games, and then hopefully we'll have enough time for some Resident Evil 4 randomizer. Wow. Uh, be back in about 3 minutes, 33 seconds.